All right, great. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Gina Zerlo, and I'm one of the co-editors of the World Christian Database. And the World Christian Database is a product of the Center for the Study of Global Christianity at Gordon-Conwell Theological Seminary, which is in the greater Boston area in the U.S. Um, we, have, we launched the database in 2007, uh, and there's also a companion to the World Christian Database, the World Religion Database, and the World Religion Database will have its update in July, and the World Christian Database will have its update in just a couple weeks on April 3rd. So I wanted to start, you can see on my screen here, this is what the World Christian Database looks like now. Um, it's not the most attractive product, and it's a little bit difficult to use. But this is what the World Christian Database looks like now. And you can see right away that it's more attractive, it's colorful, it has beautiful art in the background. Um, so the update of the database represents a facelift for it, but it also represents uh, new functionality, new features for the database. It allows collaboration between researchers, between users, and so I want to take this time to show you some of the new features of the World Christian Database. And as we go along, if anybody has any questions, feel free to, um, uh, to let me know, and I can take questions throughout, and, and we can have a time for Q&A at the end as well. So this page here is the new login page. When you go to worldchristiandatabase.org, this is the page that you will see. And it has the bar up here for information about the database. And you can click each of these categories to see what the database contains. Here's the information on religion. You can see what variables we have for countries and regions. So this information is available to anyone. So this is for people who both already have logins who can access the data and people who want to see what the database contains if they're interested in subscribing. And then you can also see more information if somebody wants to see uh, uh, more content that's in the database, a description, um, so on and so forth. So this is all available outside of the login. Part of that is also you can see the updates of the database. The World Christian and also the World Religion database are updated four times a year in April, January, October, and December. Um, so you can see that this update is all set to go for April 3rd for the launch, and it talks about how the data um, is the core of the database, but obviously the update for this quarter is that we have this whole new functionality for the database. We always make ourselves available to any users of the database, so we have contact information throughout, info at globalchristianity.org, and our phone number here in the office, and we receive a lot of inquiries from people for data and for help with the database, so um, it's important for our users to know that there's a whole research center behind the World Christian Database, uh, and there's researchers available to, to um, answer their questions at any time. Um, there's also information on how to properly cite the database here. So this is, all in, this is all available before you log in to the database. So when you log in, um, you go, I'm already logged in for the purposes of this. I hit enter and here I am on the main page. So the main page is organized by these boxes here that we have complete control over how we customize them. So we have chosen categories that based on user feedback and user statistics are the most frequently searched for or sought after information. So the first one is just about the World Christian Database for subscribers, for how to contact, the method, definitions, so on and so forth. So this is general information to help orient the user. 
Global Christianity is the core of the World Christian Database, and so that one is front and center. The updates to prove that this is not a static product, this is an ever-changing product with new information constantly being added to it. And then the categories for religions, denominations, that I'll show you more of what denominational data is available in the World Christian Database. Um, a category we're calling Christian life, which is activities of Christians, geography, and then we have the ability to include um, a query right here on the home page. And so this home page, the main page, can be changed according to what we feel like people are using or people are seeking the most. So I want to highlight all of these tools at the top of the page before we get into the nitty-gritty of what's available in the WCD. So this rocket ship here is called the launch pad and this represents one major upgrade of the World Christian Database is that it is so much easier to navigate your way around it. In the old version there were several different home pages and it was very difficult to get from one home page to another. It was difficult to see the broader organization of the data. But now with this launchpad tool you can see no matter where you are in the database you can click the launchpad and get back to the home page, to the examples page, the home page, the pages on global Christianity, the pages on religion, geography, peoples and languages. And again, we have complete control on the admin side to change these categories accordingly. So this represents a huge upgrade to how people can access data. This button here is the favorites button. So much like a, a web browser, you have the ability to save bookmarks and to save favorites. So here I'm logged in as info at Global Christianity, which is my office login. And I have one bookmark here uh, for a query that I saved earlier. So once I click it, I can go, I'll show you this in a minute, uh, how to get to the design page. But this is a query that I have saved. And so what's, what's good about this is that people who are looking for the same data on a regular basis, they don't have to go in and create a new query every single time they use the database. They can create the query they need, they can save it, and they can go back to it over and over again. And so this is um, a new feature for the WCD that we have never had before. So it allows a more personalized user experience. So the search bar here, let me go back to the main page, the search bar here is a very popular way that people use the World Christian Database. So say your library has a subscription and you're doing a research paper on Christianity in Brazil. So let's see what the World Christian Database has about Brazil. So you type in the name of the country, you can, and you see all the search hits for where Brazil shows up in the WCD. You can click here to get all the data on Brazil. There's chronology entries, there's city entries, there's Christian communions, there's memberships, denominations, it goes on. Brazil is obviously a very large country with a very large Christian population, so they show up a lot. So that's the search function which gives you many different hits and ways of using the database. Uh, when we get into a query, I'll show you these buttons over here. This is how you export data, which is a feature the WCD has always had, but is now new and improved. How to save queries, your history. So just again, just like a web browser, you can see where you've been. If you want to go back to a query or results where you were before, you can use the history button just like you would in a browser. And then this feature here is a brand new feature of the WCD called Workspaces. Now Workspaces allows the WCD to be used as a collaborative research tool. So just like you can save queries, um, you, save them, you can save them in your workspace. So here's the workspace for info at globalchristianity.org. And say I wanted to have each of my research assistants be working on a certain project. I can set up an individual workspace for Chris and for Alex and for Marjorie. 
Um, and then I can put queries in there that I want to draw their attention to or queries that I want them to use for their next research project. And this is where my saved queries also show up. So I have a few different ones saved here. This is where my bookmarks show up, the ones that I've starred, um, and you can also save records. So the WCD has never had this functionality before. Um, it's been it's been a very individual kind of one-time tool, but now you can use it for more longitudinal use, for more collaborative use. And I can click one of these and you can see the orthodox query that I was working on before. So the workspace tool represents a pretty significant upgrade and a pretty significant uh, um, tool for collaborative research. Okay, so if I want to go back home, it's very easy to go back home. I go to the launch pad. I go to the main page. So that's an overview of some of the new features um, in terms of how it looks and in terms of this bar up here. So let's get into the nitty-gritty of the data. So a very popular query is this one right here, Christianity by country. We get this a lot. How many Christians are in every country of the world? So we created this query where you get every country. Right now it's just in alphabetical order. The size of that country, the general population, the size of the Christian population, and then what we call major traditions, Catholics, Independents, Orthodox, Protestants, and how many congregations. Now if you didn't know what that meant, you can hover, and it says gives you a definition of what that variable means, number of worship centers per million of the country's population. And you can use this just like you would Excel. So say you want to know the countries with the most Protestants, you can sort it by size, and now we're sorted by size, and you see the USA has the most, followed by Nigeria, Brazil, the UK, and so on. So this is a preset query that we have designed based on what we think people use. So say you want something else. You don't want every single country in the world. One of the major upgrades of the WCD is the ability to design queries to get at exactly what you want. So I hit the design button and it brings me to this page. Now what's great about this page is that all of your query design is on one page. It used to be on several different pages. So here we have all of the fields that you can add to your query, and they're organized by logical, um, logical groups, general, demographics, indicators. And as you click on them, you can see the subcategories in each. Um, the ones that are highlighted, or I'm sorry, the ones that are bolded here are the ones that appear in this query. So you can add whatever you want to this query. So let's say I want to know all the Christians in Asia. So I'm going to add the UN region, and I can move this wherever I want. So if I want the UN region to show up on the last column of my search, or I want the UN region to show up on the first column of my search, I can do that. Let's say I don't care about congregations. That's not important for my research. I just take it out, and now it's gone. So if I want to know how many Christians are in Asia, I go to UN region, and now I can choose how to narrow down my search. And I'm going to click, I want Central, Eastern, South, Southeastern, and Western, and South Central. There are a lot of regions in Asia. And you can see all the UN regions are listed here. So I have my query. I have it narrowed down to what I'm looking for, and I hit Run Query, and there it is. So the UN region now appears here, and I have the categories I wanted. The congregations one is gone, and I want to sort it by Christians, just like you would in Excel. You push the top, and there it is. So the, the country in Asia with the most Christians is China, followed by the Philippines, India, Indonesia, South Korea, etc. And users can go in and redesign queries to their heart's content. They can add any number of variables related to religious affiliation, related to Christian activities, uh, mission agencies, 
related to literature, um, scripture translations, how many Bibles are being, uh, are translated into a particular language. There's uh, hundreds and hundreds of different variables. Um, it's all the same data from the previous World Christian database. It's just much easier to see what you can use. There's, it's much easier to see what you have available to you. Um, so let's run this query again and say you have everything you need. You want to know uh, the population of Christianity and the major traditions in Asia. And now I want to save it. So I go to the lightning bolt and I can export it to Excel. I hit export and then I download the file and it, I'll bring it up for you so you can see it here. And it produces a much better Excel spreadsheet than the previous version of the WCD. Um, it has all the proper commas, it has all the proper percentages, it has nice headings that are highlighted and bolded, it has your sum at the bottom. So it produces a ready-to-use Excel spreadsheet, not a CSV file like the old database did. And then from here, you can also add this to your workspace. So say this is something I want to come back to over and over again. I'm going to save it. I can bookmark it. I can save it as a new query. And I can favorite, favorite it. And then when I go to my workspace, it will be there. There it is, Christianity by Country. And I hit Run Query. And it goes to exactly where we just were. So let's look at, uh, so, okay, we can go back, use our history button, and go back to the main page where we were before. Um, another popular use of the World Christian Database is our denominational data. The World Christian Database contains detailed in information on over 9,000 Christian denominations in the world. And this makes it completely unique from any other resource out there. No one has the level of information that we do when it comes to denominations. So I just clicked denominations by country and it's giving me the largest denominations in the world. It's already sorted by size. So the largest denomination by country are Catholics in Brazil. So it gives you standard information here, uh, the country, the major tradition, the name of the denomination. You'll note this one is in Portuguese because that is the primary language of Brazil. This one's in Spanish. Um, we have certain countries that are in the local languages. Um, the year it began in that country, the number of congregations, and how many people are in that denomination. So say you want to know a little bit more about Russian, the Russian, Russian Orthodox Church in Russia, you can click it, and here's all the information about the Russian Orthodox Church in Russia. Uh, it has the Russian name here, it has some statistical information here, and you can go and see more information about the Russian Orthodox Church. Let me go back to my original query, and again, you can you can add whatever you want. You can add different years. You want to know how many in 1970. We can add every single year that the database has um, for denominational data. It goes from 1970 until 2015. Then you can run your query, and then all of the years are there. You can see the growth, for example, of the Catholic Church in Brazil from 85 million in 1970 to 149 million in 2015. So that's a little bit about the denominational data that's available in the World Christian Database. The last thing I'd like to show you um, is the country level. So this is another popular use of the database. There's the denominational level, there's the preset queries, and then there's country level information. So you can type in any country. Um, let's do Let's do the Netherlands. And it comes up with all the search matches, just like a regular web browser Google search. And I want to see all the data that the World Christian Database has on the Netherlands. So here's general information, the name of the country, um, some information on urbanization, 
population information all comes from the United Nations. And so we see 2015 is the latest, almost 17 million people. We have other information that we import into the database to give some context to the religious statistics related to corruption, education, literacy, internet, and then health indicators. All this comes from outside sources. Um, we can look at the churches in the WCD, um, sorry, in the WCD related to the Netherlands, evangelicals, Pentecostals, Orthodox, Catholics, Protestants, a list of denominations. This is a query that you can um, also organize by size. If you want to see the largest denomination in the Netherlands, it's the Catholic Church, and so on and so forth. So pe for people who are doing country level um, research, this is a, a very popular way of using the database. Here's a list of religions in the Netherlands. So this is probably this is the way that I use the World Christian Database the most, is on the country level, because I do a lot of research on particular countries. And you can, you know, I can look up the United States as well and uh, find all kinds of information there. Here's the list of denominations in the USA, sorted by size. Again, the Catholic Church, uh, Southern Baptist, National Baptist, so on and so forth. And if you want to know more, you can click the denomination name and you get information about the denomination in that country. So I think that represents the, uh, an overview of the changes of the database, the updated usability of the database, the updated um, attractiveness of the WCD, while still maintaining the core of what we do, which is detailed statistical information on every religion in every country of the world down to the denominational level.